So I managed to get in on the most recent Northwoods uh, knife drop. This is, I think the Hawthorne Jack is what this is called. Yeah, this is the Hawthorne Jack. Uh, and then this is in blueberry burlap micarta, I think they're calling it. It's slightly blue, uh, which I like. Um, so uh, as, you, as you guys probably know, if you're watching this, the Northwoods knives have an incredible uh, following and they're incredibly desirable. This is my second Northwoods knife. I also have a Big Bay Barlow. That was a gift from somebody over on Instagram uh, when, you know, a couple years ago, th almost three years ago now, I was going through a rough time. My mom had just uh, passed away and everything. Uh, and I got a message from somebody over there on Instagram and sent me a bunch of pictures of knives and said, tell me which one you want and I'll send it to you. And I was like, well, you don't have to do that. And he was like, well, I want to do that. So I was like, well, if you're going to send me a knife, uh, that Big Bay is pretty cool. <laughs> So he sent me a Northwoods Big Bay Barlow, which is awesome. I haven't really carried it a whole lot. It's upstairs in my knife uh, cabinet thing. Uh, that's an old jewelry cabinet, but it's where I keep my knives. It's appropriate. Uh, men's jewelry pocket knives. Um, that knife is awesome. I love that knife. Um, this knife, <clears throat> just due to the blade shape, isn't quite as exciting. Um, but I was really excited to get one anyway. Uh, I just kind of wish that they would have done these in a clip blade since it's on the 48 frame. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is getting a little raspy. I had to get a sip of iced tea over here. Um, <clears throat> so I wish they had done these in a clip blade, uh, but they didn't. They did a worn clip blade. Um, but yeah, let me pick up the knife here, show it off a little bit. So Northwoods, they're stamped on the blade or maybe laser etched into the blade, but it's pretty deep, so it's probably just stamped. Uh, USA, stamped there on the tang, and that's it. You don't get any Great Eastern Cutlery markings or anything. Uh, Great Eastern Cutlery did, of course, make these for uh, knives ship free over there. Um, and it's on the 48 frame, which I didn't bring down a 48. Maybe I should have. But it's like a trapper frame, pretty much. Um, this is just a single blade, and it is a Warncliffe, like I said. Um, Northwoods always leaves on these, well, I shouldn't say always. One of the like most identifiable things about Northwoods is they own most of the pocket knives, they leave the like heat scale on the blade, which is kind of neat. It leaves for like, you know, some contrast and everything, which is a little bit harder to show off on my camera or my phone right now because it's not wanting to show it off well and it's not one to focus okay there it's focused okay so this is real shiny see that that's the like cutting edge not cutting edge but like the lead up to the cutting edge the grind some might call it i think that's the proper term um and then up here's the blade um and you can see it still has the heat scale on it it's like gray it almost looks like it's pre patina a little bit and then you get the Northwoods uh, stamped right underneath the uh, nail neck slash long pull there. Um, so knife knife is really well put together, obviously. Great Eastern Cutlery. Um, the Blueberry Burlap Micarta looks awesome. I like the slight blue uh, tint to it. I really like that. Um, 48 pattern, so, you know, fits really well in your hand and everything. And I imagine this would be a... Uh, just an absolute beast at opening cardboard boxes and stuff. Um, feels really good in your hand, and it's got that, you know, Warncliffe blade there. A pretty, um, not like a really wide Warncliffe either. Um, the only thing about these Northwoods knives is usually they have a little bit thicker blades on them, so it's probably not going to slice quite as well as, like, a traditional uh, Great Eastern Cutlery knife that has a little bit of a thinner blade on it. Um, but... Like I said, people, these are really desirable. People go crazy for them. Um, I was happy to be able to get one. Um, I think people were struggling to get the camel bone versions. Um, so I just went right in and bought a blueberry burlap because that's what I wanted anyway. Um, I'm not a fancy, super fancy guy. Um, no jig bone, no saw cut bones. So I was like, I'll do the uh, burlap micarta then. Um, and I wish, I don't, know the guy that runs collect and not collector knives that's mike latham 
Um, I don't know the guy that runs Knives Ship Free uh, over there. I think somebody passed away a couple years ago. Um, but they list the Camel Bone entries separately, so you can look at the knife and see what you're getting, which is cool and everything. But the problem with that is then if you go to buy that selection, somebody else already bought it, then it's out of stock. Uh, whereas with the Micarta, they're all just under one listing. So you go in and you just buy one. And, you know, as long as he has some in stock, uh, you get it, which is why the main reason why I didn't try for the camel bone. But the other reason is I'm not super crazy about fancy kinds of bone. I just want a jigged cattle bone. I'm fine with that or a saw cut cattle bone. Um, uh, preferably in some cool color, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so, you know, no jig bone, no saw cut bones. I went right for the micarta because I really like the, um, burlap micarta on these Northwoods knives. That's what my, um, big bay is too. It's a red burlap micarta. Um, I believe these, uh, Northwoods knives to be all steel, meaning I believe the bolsters are steel and the pins are steel. I guess probably the shield might be nickel silver, although I'm not sure. Um, and they call this an arrowhead shield. It's not a butt plug shield, regardless of what it looks like. It's an arrowhead. Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, I always have to make that joke. I'm sorry. Um, but steel liners, steel back spring, and I believe steel bolsters and caps um, and steel pins, I believe. I'm not 100% on that because I never do any kind of research on these. I just try to buy one when they're available. <laughs> um, blade centering, I think it's pretty good. Maybe slightly off to one side. It's hard to show here because my phone. If I try to show it this way now, it's not going to focus like that either. Yeah, well, um, yeah, it might be slightly off to the right here. Uh, but not enough to really be that noticeable or to matter, obviously. Um, but yeah, and then the action on this blade has a half stop. Action's really good. It's very smooth and clicky. Uh, my girlfriend calls that clicky clacking, um, and she makes fun of me for it because I will just sit there in bed. Uh, with the knife on my end table doing this. And like I said, she calls it clicky clacking. Um, <laughs> um, so I think that's funny. Um, but yeah, the action on this knife is really good. The uh, walk and talk, as it were, is quite well. Um, and this knife is put together really well. And I really like that uh, blueberry, blueberry burlap there. I think it looks really good. Um, but since we're talking about Northwoods and everything, this knife also comes with a pocket slip that I won't use because I have tried to use pocket slips. I don't like them. And it comes with a, I think, a copper coin, which is neat. Northwoods, and it's got some sort of modern looking folder on it there. And then it's got the uh, butt plug arrowhead on the back there, and it says Northwoods. Um, you know, just neat little things you get with the knife. And you get a sticker. I like stickers. Sticker will probably go on the aforementioned uh, knife case upstairs, knife uh, cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Um, knife stand. It'll go in my mom's old jewelry stand that I now use for pocket knives. Um, it'll probably go on that. Um, the coin probably won't do anything with because what am I going to do with it? Carry it around on my wallet? Probably not. It's a neat little touch, but you know. Um, and then the pocket slip here, you know, these are well made, it seems. It says Northwoods on it and everything. Um, leather. Um, but yeah, these seem really well made. The one that came with my Big Bay is a lot bigger than this one. So this one I think would be more manageable to carry. I'm just probably not ever going to carry it in a pocket slip because I've tried it and I just don't really like the pocket slip thing. I just like being able to reach into my pocket and grab my knife and not have to worry about reaching into my pocket, grabbing my pocket slip, and then grabbing my knife out of the pocket slip. It just adds an extra step that I don't feel is necessary. Um, but anyway, this, oh, I didn't go over the blade length. Well, yeah, it's over, slightly over three inches. Uh, and the cutting length is like two and three quarters. Yeah, so 
you know, fairly decent little blade blade there. Uh, really, you know, pretty aggressive, pointy uh, Warren Cliff, super pointy. You could you could really accidentally uh, skewer yourself on this one really well. It's like a sewing needle. That's how pointy it is. Um, the Warren Cliff on the Improved Trapper by Collector Knives is like that as well. Very pointy. Um, but yeah, so uh, Northwoods Hawthorne Jack, um, really cool knife. Like I said, you get all these extra little goodies here with it when you get it when you get it for, from uh, Knife Ship Free, which is nice. Um, and I think this retailed for around $150. So it's not even like they're crazy priced. Um, but now if you try to buy one of these on the secondary market, you probably won't get it for less than $300, $350, maybe even $400 uh, because people are nuts um, and resellers are out of control. Um, that being said, the reseller situation seems to be calming down at least a little bit. I don't know if that's because Radio Eastern Cutlery is producing more knives or if because some of the knives that they've produced, produced recently that I've been able to get in a, you know, drop or, you know, just from the website or whatever, uh, the 13, the 48, uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I think it's about it. Those were like the last two that were like really easy to get. Um, so I don't know if they just produced a lot of those or just people didn't want them or what, but the, um, secondary market reseller resellers on eBay, uh, seem to be chilling out a little bit. You know, their prices are going down a little bit, it seems almost, um, which is good. Um, I don't have a problem with people reselling pocket knives if they buy something and then they decide they don't like it and they sell it later. I get it. Things happen. But the people that buy knives brand new with the expressed purpose and only purpose of reselling them at a 300% markup, uh, those people get a little um, tiresome. Um, and they're not really, usually, I think, probably not really members of the knife community. Um, although I assume some of them probably are. Some of them are probably collectors. And they've just decided that this is the best way to earn money instead of uh, working a job like the rest of us. Um, but anyway, not to get too off track there on uh, things that make me sad. Um, sorry, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Right after this, I'm going to take a shower and go to bed. Um, but yeah, not to get too off track, the uh, Northwoods Hawthorne Jack here. I'm really excited that I got one. Probably will carry the knife. I'm probably not going to carry it uh, super a lot just because of the Warncliffe blade and um, having so many other knives that are just better options for me to carry. Um but that being said, I'm sure I'll carry it at some point and I'll enjoy it and everything. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that's the Northwoods Hawthorne Jack in blueberry burlap micarta. It's a lot of bees. Well, it's two bees. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good day.